comes in by email. <laughs> I got him right here. Uh, the band has a new green initiative. You might have heard us talk about it. And uh, I'd like to also mention that the band has a patent out for this method of producing paper. This is recycled toilet paper. So this is really something you don't see. We have a... So um, these are the letters straight from the computer and then printed out, as you know, to give them a feel of authenticity. A completely undeserved feel of authenticity. Okay, what do we got here? Um, Dear The Hook, the last time I saw you guys, you mentioned that you used to be called Sexual Chocolate and the Snowflakes in the late 70s. I looked it up on Wikipedia and there was nothing. Are you messing with us or what? Uh, dubious. Uh, so, there's a lot of things that aren't on Wikipedia. I don't, I'm not sure dumbass is on Wikipedia, but there's a lot of dumbasses out there, right? Does that mean? I don't know. Um, of course, this band was in the late 70s, and that was well before the internet. And that is why you do not find us on Wikipedia. Believe that. Dear the Hulk, I had a question about your previous incarnation, Sexual Chocolate and the Snowflakes. How old was Professor Schreiber in the late 70s? Uh, in the late 70s. Well, Professor Schreiber was one of those boy genius type uh, people. <laughs> he was a prodigy, or a prodigy. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And he uh, he was able to play play guitar uh, for us at a very young age. Speak up, speak that up. Was, I'm sorry, I'm speaking up. Uh, more, okay, I don't want to answer that, don't want to answer that. Oh, okay. Okay, one last one. Dear the hook. You can't hear me? Oh, wow. That's why I said speak up. Okay, sorry. Sorry, okay. Um, dear the hook, this is the last one. Now. Where was the worst place you ever played? Okay. As a matter of fact, that was, uh, that was in 1979 when we were, at that time, we were Sexual Chocolate and the Snowflakes. And uh, it was the same band, but that was our name at that time. And uh, we had a gig at a nursing home. But uh, at that time, at that time we, we actually were pretty big and we had like a disco, that was, we were a disco band at that time. And we had a hit, on the, we had something on the radio. It was, uh, the album was Sexual Chocolate and the Snowflakes. And the song was Sexual Chocolate. I think I hear it. It was like, it was pretty big. You might remember it. That's, that's like, that's the bass line. That's the bass line. I can't believe these guys remember it. It's been, it's, it's been like 30 years since the last time we played that. It was old So it was a different time. Change it. 